Moments of disorientation and incoherence are becoming more common for Bruce Wood. So is hostility. Oh, fuck off. It was a bad summer. It was a really rough summer. It was sad. Former politician Lisa Raitt has been documenting her husband's mental decline during the pandemic. It was overwhelming and the, it was a really violent outburst and I was scared. Anything else good for the day? Wood has young onset dementia. Raitt says getting timely medical care and support is harder these days, yet she's managed to get help at home for him for now. So when I see the cases creeping up again and the numbers, I'm a little bit worried. I'm terrified that I'm going to lose the help that we're currently getting. The Alzheimer's Society has convened a special COVID-19 dementia task force. It's made up of doctors and researchers across the country to track the effects of cancelled programs and isolation on patients to prevent another kind of crisis. The group is seeing troubling signs. More TV watching, more sleeping, less human interaction, fewer stimulating activities. The early research is showing that yes, it has in fact um, caused a faster decline and so higher dependence uh, on caregivers and, and, and supports. We are going to uh, rip you up and flush you down the toilet. Welcome, everybody. It's not the first thing that comes to mind when we think virtual health care, but these videos are intended to elicit new brain activity in dementia patients with stimulating visuals, sounds and ideas. It's how one research hospital has replaced patient programs it had to cancel and it's promising. They're focused, they're engaged, their mood goes up, um, and it's a quality experience for them. Yes! Lisa Raitt says she's trying to make the most of her husband's experiences on her own to stop him from slipping away. Yes. Vicadopia, CBC News, Toronto.